With this week's Creative Kitchen Tip is your host, Margot. Welcome to my show. My name is Margo. Today I will be showing you how to make non-alcoholic margaritas. So it's pretty simple, especially without the alcohol. Um, you just have to have a mix. You can get this at the store, Walmart, Target. Um, you can even get it pre-frozen, but that can be kind of hard to open. So um, you need a lime, some salt, and a blender. So we're going to get started. Oh, you need ice. That's really important. So, kind of depends on the consistency. Like, if you want it like, a little liquidy, then not so much ice, but totally depends on your preference. We're just going to put some in here. I think it's best to put the ice in first because you don't want to splash and make a mess everywhere. Like, you can add as you go, of course. Let's pour that in there. Right now we'll just start off with this much, and this is a, um, a ninja. It comes in handy, especially if you're in college. Um, it's portable, small, you can even take the lid off and just drink from the little ninja. So, let's see, we're gonna blend it, so. Let's take this out and look at it. Yeah, I like mine a little bit more frozen so like I said you just add as you go it totally depends some people like theirs really liquidy so we'll see this is perfect time for the holidays you know get kind of stressful with your relatives getting together and um, I don't know you always have that um, over opinionated relative and that really progressive cousin, but you know, it's okay. Just give them one of these and everybody will be sweet to each other. So let's see. Let's blend it up. <laughs> Make sure that it's shed though. That can be a little messy. These things kind of screw on a little funny sometimes. So let's look at it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna blend it a little bit longer. It's a part of the process. You want it to be perfect, so. I'm gonna put it back in. It's time for it to shut all the way. Now let's take a look. It looks pretty good to me. You might wanna get a little spoon and stir it up a bit. That looks good. Way better than anything you can get at Fuzzies or on the border because it's homemade and we like that. We like homemade. Let's give it a try. Yeah, just like Grandma's, but Grandma has a secret recipe. So we're going to put it, um, right now we're just going to put the lid on and we're going to set it aside for a minute. Kind of, it's okay to shake it up a bit too, you know let the let it all soak together now we're gonna work on getting the cup ready so it's important to be careful with your knife um, we're just gonna cut the lime really quick before we go to break but it's important that you get your cup ready and um, cups need flavor too you know you got to put your salt on top so I'm just gonna rub this on the outside and we will come back to you after the break with what's next for our awesome drink. Um, I hope you're enjoying this so far and I'll see you after the break. If you have the answer, I was going to ask you to come up Arthritis is a joint board. disease that causes an inability to do normal daily activities. What she doesn't know is that her professor also suffered from arthritis. I used to struggle with arthritis as well. Here's your papers back. Oh, thank you so much. I uh, wanted to give this back to you. I don't need it anymore. No arthritis spray has saved my life. Thank you. Good to hear. Hey, 
So um, for the break, we blended up our drink right here, and um, we're getting our lemon ready. But um, I decided that for the live audience today, we will actually add some jalapenos to the mix. Some people think this is a little crazy, but if you enjoy spice inside your uh, margarita, this is actually, a lot of people do it. It's called a jalapeno margarita. Um, you're just gonna add like a little bit of juice to your drink, and then you can put like the jalapeno on the outside to make it look kind of cute, but my family, we love it. We love all things spicy. You can tell there's not that many jalapenos left because I had lunch today. Um, so we'll add that in there just a little bit because we'll, we'll keep it tame. So I'm going to screw this back on, make sure it's tight. We don't want to another incident. There we go. Put it in our Ninja and we're going to blend it for a few seconds. good to me. Okay, now let's just, we'll just slip that there. I'm going to move these away so we don't spill. you got to be careful with the jalapenos. If that gets in your eyes, oof, it's pretty bad. So we're going to get the cup ready now. What you do is you can get just a nice size lime from your grocery store. If you grow them on a tree at home, that's even cooler, but I don't know if the climate will allow that here, so we'll just get them at the grocery store. So you get it, you rub it on the outside, and then you're going to have a little little plate of salt. I just kind of dumped some. There's already some in there, but I'll just put a little bit more. So you're going to put the salt on there, and then I'm just going to kind of twirl your cup around. It's making that awful noise, but that's okay. It's worth it. So we're going to look at that and see, I don't know, it's pretty good. You can do as much salt as you want. Some people prefer sugar, but since we're doing jalapenos, we're going to go with salt. Um, yeah, that looks really good. Put a little bit more on the side. There's, a, there's an art to it. But you have to make sure that you rub the lime on enough so that it'll be sticky enough. So, there we go. I'm going to clear some of this out of the way. You can get your, your lime ready. A good way to get it ready is you cut a little slit right there so that you can put it on the side when it's time. So. going to pour drink in there. going to need a spoon. We don't want it to come all out at once. I've made that mistake before. I'm going to pour that in there. I like the consistency. It's, it's frozen, but it's liquid. You could drink it with a straw, but as of late, straws are pretty bad, so we don't like the cardboard either. That kind of ruins the taste, so if you have a metal straw, super cool. I don't, so waiting. I'm gonna get that for Christmas maybe, but I'll be drinking this before Christmas, so we'll work with it. Now we're gonna see if we can get a little jalapeno out of here. I'm gonna use this right here. It's kinda hard to find because you can plop a few in there. It's really fun to um, make one of these for your cousins and like not tell them that it's jalapeno and then you like find a jalapeno at the bottom, they're like, wow. So just plop that in. We're gonna set this here. I don't know if it'll stay on, but it's okay if it falls in, it just adds flavor. But we're just, there it is. Looks really good. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Remember, stay kind to everybody on the holidays and make lots of drinks, cause they're delicious and super fun. Tune in next time.